where coaches live. Hi, Sean Green here. So today I am changing my world as I know it. I am going to the Vipassana meditation retreat for 10 days. I find out, found out about the retreat from a friend of mine who's Indian and he had experienced it and told me about it. During the pandemic, I actually practiced, tried practicing meditation from YouTube and different sources and had a little bit of success with it and found it very practical for me personally. I was very intrigued by the retreat, so I applied for the retreat. Uh, there was a huge waiting list and last week I got a call and said somebody dropped out, would I like to go? And I said, yes, I would. So it gave me about a week's preparation to attend this course. Uh, Vipassana meditation has been around for thousands of years. Uh, the centers they have, the institutes they have, are actually all over the world and nearly on every continent from Brazil, you know, they have in the UK and Chile and every continent. The nearest one to me is about an hour and a half from my home, which is in Massachusetts, and that's where I'm heading, heading to. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I know that uh, the rules of the center is that there's no phones allowed, so you can't use your phone. And it's been, I don't know how long since I haven't used a phone every day. Um, you cannot, you have to obey noble silence, which is that you cannot speak to any of the pupils there. You do get a little bit of time, like half an hour to speak with your instructor if you need to, but it's not mandatory, um, just in case issues come up that you really need to talk about. But for the most part, we are up every morning at 4 a.m. We start meditating at 4.30. That goes through till 9.30 at night, and then the lights are out, and you sleep. In between, you'll get a couple of breaks, but basically meditating for 10 hours straight every day with a little break in between and only two meals which are vegetarian meals um, so that's going to be interesting too uh, some of the other policies the, you know they encourage you to have no eye contact with anybody whole idea is to be isolated to leave all your possessions behind you and to really operate in a minimal environment to focus on your mind, focus on your breathing. First three days, they focus, my understanding is they focus on the technique of meditating, uh, understanding your breathing, how to breathe correctly, recognizing the rhythms and uh, just the whole mastery of fundamental meditation. After that, they get into some deep uh, meditation topics. Uh, one of the topics is you know, how to be, how to live in the moment. And, you know, it occurred to me that, for me personally, I can only speak about myself. You know, I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about my next practice, my next vacation, the next thing I have to do, things for work, all those things in the future. And when I'm not thinking about that, I'm reflecting on the past. Decisions I've made, great friends I've made, memories I've had, good and bad. Um, and. It's not often in a day that I spend time to actually capture the moment, to stay in that moment and appreciate the moment, everything around you. So I'm hoping to really look into that technique and other techniques is for you to scan your body, to be aware of your body, how your body feels, how it reacts, the sensations that your body has to outside things, whether it's issues in your life that you have, or noises, sounds, physical, reactions so listen I'm going in with an open mind I figured that it's going to give me an opportunity to be a better person hopefully to be able to handle I don't experience a lot of stress but any anxiety uh, be able to handle anything at me situations in the world with a little bit more calmness and understanding and as I said, to be a better person. And if I can be a better person, you know, I can be a better father. Um, I can be a better soccer coach. Uh, I can be a better partner to my girlfriend. Uh, just a better person in general. And hopefully I'll get something out of it. If I don't, 
then at least I'll have the knowledge that maybe I could share with somebody who may get something out of it. I can speak firsthand from experience uh, what it's like. But at the end of my course, that 10 day course, we'll, we'll have accomplished 100 hours of meditation. And what comes to mind for me is, what am I gonna think about? And what am I gonna miss immediately? Am I going to have Facebook withdrawals? You know, I'm always on social media, posting videos, creating videos. Am I going to withdrawals? Uh, I'm always like, texting and creating content. So that's going to be, and I've done that for a decade, so that's going to be a real brain mind deal for me. Not hearing people laugh. I'm a funny guy. What can I say? I like to make jokes around people all the time. I like funny people. I like humorous people. I love the sound of laughter. People's smiles, I'm gonna miss that, that's for sure. We do have to we do have to wear a mask the entire 10 days, by the way, which is unfortunate. Even though, you know, we've got a vaccine, I still had to do, on top of that, a PCR test two days before showing up here. So, it's about an hour and a half from my house. I left about 45 minutes ago, so I'm halfway there. So I've got another 45 minutes of freedom. And uh, time to contemplate. I thought I would start thinking about it once I got there, but I didn't. I started thinking about it pretty deeply as soon as I left the house. You know, what am I going to think about in that hundred hours? You know, I think about think about my kids. Think about what, when they were young. Think about my family when I was young. When I was just a kid. What my what my childhood was like. I never really reflect on that much. Uh, the influences in my life, the bad decisions I've made in my life, the great decisions I've made in my life. You know, where am I now? Where do I want to head? How do I want to spend the rest of my life? Uh, reflecting on friendships. I'm sure I'm going to reflect on creative ideas because I love doing that. It's going to really give me laser focus on to come up with new ideas for web content, uh, soccer coaching, new ideas. And I'm a big believer, and one of the other reasons I'm on this course is that I think meditation is so overlooked tool that we could use in soccer. And um, I wish I'd got into it a decade ago or longer because I would certainly be implementing meditation, self-meditation to my athletes. Um, you know, we, we cool down after games, but we never decompress mentally. You know, we take a lot of baggage home with us mentally. And I think it could be a great tool. And listen, I don't really have to emphasize it, you know. Just look at COVID. You know, stress, anxiety, depression, suicide, you name it. So there's a definite need, need for that. And maybe people who are disciples and believe in it. Again, I don't know. I don't know the answers. I'm not an expert. I'm just coming here to learn, uh, to seek knowledge. And... Uh, see what this experience brings me so when I get back from the retreat I'll do a full review on the pros and cons I'll be very candid about what I liked what I didn't like and if you're interested check it out yeah, yeah, may the force be with you the force is strong with that one it is mm. So, as I get a bit closer, I'm about 20 minutes away from the Vipassana Meditation Center. Leaving more of the suburban areas, it's getting more rural on this road, because it's really out there, away from all ambient distractions, the noises of traffic, you name it. So, you know, I have read a few reviews about this before I started to uh, really seriously embark upon this and some of the reviews were mixed mostly with a positive but there were some people who and again there's people from all over there's about 50 or 60 people on this retreat with me from all over the United States from all over the world different countries all different backgrounds uh, economic backgrounds social backgrounds you're gonna find people who are just travelers you know beatniks people who are artists people who are professionals, uh, people who are professors, teachers, you name it, people from all walks of life attend this retreat. 
and some of the reviews I've read, some people come out of this 10 week course and achieve nothing. They get nothing out of it. Other people say it's a life changer. It really has changes their perspective on life, on how they react to things in life. Um, more control over themselves spiritually, internally. And again, the biggest thing for me is going to be, you know, the hundred hours of meditation. How many things can I think about? You know, and as I'm driving there, I think about my journey back in 10 days. How will I change? Is it going to make me a better person, which I hope it does? Is, what's it, what is it going to teach me? And so I've got more questions than answers. But I guess the only way to get to find out is to jump in the deep end and give it everything I've got. I hope I finish the 10 days. From the reviews I've read, it's, it's physically very challenging. And I'm not a young kid. I'm pretty fit, I like to swim every day that I possibly can. I like to work out a little bit, don't do too much, but I try to do it regularly. But my, my knees are absolutely shot, and so it's hard for me to sit down in that yoga position, but I guess that's not important, you don't have to. You just need to get comfortable on the floor. Uh, but, you know, if you're watching a Netflix movie for two hours, you know, you're moving around, you're achy, or whatever, even if you're on the couch, so being on a hard floor and you have a cushion. So that's gonna be the big thing. It's gonna be pushing through that pain, um, if there is any, which I'm expecting. But it's my understanding that one of the big things they teach you is that everything in life is temporary. Whether it's pain, disappointment, happiness, love, it's all temporary. And to acknowledge that and know that you know, it will, everything has its time. So I'm about 15 minutes away from the center. And let's see what happens. Here I go, guys. Getting out the car. See you in 10 days. Change man, I hope. Bye. Soccer Coach TV, where coaches live.